A radio frequency resonant cavity thruster is a proposed new type of electromagnetic thruster. Unlike conventional electromagnetic thrusters, they are designed to use no reaction mass and to emit no directional radiation. Their design principles are not supported by prevailing scientific theories, and they apparently violate the law of conservation of momentum. A few variations on such thrusters have been proposed. Aerospace engineer Roger Shoya designed the M-Drive in 2001, and has persistently promoted the idea since then through his company, Satellite Propulsion Research. Chemical engineer Guido Fetta designed the Kinei Drive, based on similar principles. If they are found to work as claimed, providing thrust without consuming a propellant would have important applications to all areas of propulsion. Some independent teams of scientists, notably a team at Zion's Northwestern Polytechnical University, one at NASA's Eagle Works Laboratories, and another at the Dresden University of Technology in Germany, have built prototypes of these designs and a number of their experiments have tentatively observed small net thrust. This experimental work has been published in university journals, conference proceedings, and peer-reviewed journals. Research is in progress to see if the positive results are caused by some as yet unknown phenomenon or by artifacts due to experimental error. History Electromagnetic propulsion designs have been around since the start of the 20th century, which operate on the principle of reaction mass. In the 1960s, extensive research was conducted on a variety of such drives, from ion thrusters that strip ions from propellant, accelerate them, and eject them, to plasma thrusters that eject plasma ions in a similar way with plasma currents, but do not require electrodes. The plasma in a plasma thruster can be generated from an intense source of microwave or other radio frequency energy in combination with a resonant cavity tuned to resonate at such a frequency. Searching for low propellant space drives has been a goal of space exploration for much of this time. If a zero propellant drive existed, it could potentially be used for travel in many environments. This has contributed to the enthusiasm for exploring such designs, even if they seem impossible. Since the publication of Isaac Newton's book Principia Science has understood that for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction. General relativity of Albert Einstein did not change the principle that came to be known as conservation of momentum. Newton built his theories based on earlier work of Galileo, Copernicus, and Kepler. The principle requires that to create thrust force in one direction, some form of energy must be repelled at some speed in the opposite direction sufficient to balance the momentum around any closed surface that might be constructed to measure it. Reaction forces can be produced by accelerated mass like a conventional rocket. Interaction with external electric or magnetic fields like the separate parts of an electric motor, particle beams like ion thrusters, or directional radio waves. Nozzle velocity is a key parameter in rockets. If no mass is ejected the exhaust energy moves at light speed and requires F equals P, C or about 300 megawatts per newton of force, making it less attractive than other propulsion systems. The patent of Roger J. Shaw you claims the thrust is generated in a closed cavity such that one end of the cavity receives a larger force than the opposite end. Electric heat turns liquid coolant into vapor, contributing to the force balance. A standing wave interference pattern is created by geometry, operating frequency and equal path lengths for all segments of the microwave. Stress energy of space is altered inside the microwave cavity by addition of the interference pattern in which nearly all of the electric and magnetic components are cancelled out by two microwaves approaching each other with equal intensity on the same path. Most of the pointing vectors are also cancelled out. Puthoff's patent shows how a small but detectable curl-free potential can be created from interference patterns passing through shielded barriers. Otherwise if all of the microwaves remain inside the cavity and there is no net interaction with the vacuum, then there is no established theory to give external thrust to the device. 
Shoya's claim of 0.1 newton from 300 watts of power is not supported by conventional theories. Controversy The design of such thrusters, whether they work as claimed, and theories attempting to explain how they might work, are all matters of controversy. There is little consensus among those designing such drives about which theories are most plausible, and several theories are criticized as violations of conservation of momentum. The idea did not receive much attention when first proposed in the early 2000s, and experiments to test it have been limited in scope. Publicity about such thrusters has been maintained by inventors of specific designs promoting their own work. Inventors have been unable to reliably demonstrate thrust from one of their own theoretical designs and few scientists take the claims about these designs seriously. Critics assert that positive results are misinterpretations of spurious effects mixed with experimental errors. Research teams that have seen tentatively positive results are continuing their work to remove potential sources of error, and to ascertain whether they can explain the observed thrust using traditional physics models, designs and prototypes. M-Drive In 2001, Shoya founded Satellite Propulsion Research Limited, in order to work on the M-Drive. He thought he could produce a drive that used a resonant cavity to produce thrust without propellant. The company was backed by a Smart Award grant from the UK Department of Trade and Industry. The DTI grant totaled £250,000, spread out over three years. By December 2002, he was demonstrating a working prototype, reporting a total thrust of about 0.02 newtons powered by an 850W magnetron. It was later reported that the device could only operate for a few tens of seconds before the magnetron failed, due to overheating. Second device and new scientist article in October 2006, Shaw Yu conducted tests on a new water-cooled prototype, which increased thrust to 0.1 newtons and ran on 300 watts of microwave power. He planned to have the device ready to use in space by May 2009, and was considering making the resonant cavity a superconductor. Shaw Yu submitted a theory paper to New Scientist, a weekly popular science consumer magazine, and the M-Drive was featured on the cover of the 8th of September 2006 issue of the magazine. The article portrayed the device as plausible, and emphasized the arguments of those who held that point of view. Science fiction author Greg Egan distributed a public letter stating that a sensationalist bent and a lack of basic knowledge by its writers made the magazine's coverage unreliable, sufficient to constitute a real threat to the public understanding of science. In particular, Egan found himself gobsmacked by the level of scientific illiteracy in the magazine's coverage of the M-Drive, stating that new scientist employed meaningless double talk to obfuscate the relation of Shoya's proposed space drive to the principle of conservation of momentum. Egan urged those reading his letter to write to new scientist and pressure the magazine to raise its standards. Instead of squandering the opportunity that the magazine's circulation and prestige provides for genuine science education, the letter was endorsed by mathematical physicist John C. Baez and posted on his blog. Egan also recommended that new scientists publish a refutation penned by John P. Kostler of Shoya's paper. The following month, the new scientist editor addressed the ensuing controversy over the article. We should have made more explicit where it apparently contravenes the laws of nature and reported that several physicists declined to comment on the device because they thought it too contentious. Later work in 2013 and 2014. Shaw sure, you presented ideas for second-generation M-Drive designs and applications at the annual International Astronautical Congress. A paper based on his 2014 presentation was published in Acta Astronautica in 2015. It describes a model for a superconducting resonant cavity, and three models for thrusters with multiple cavities, with hypothetical applications for launching space probes.
Cane another drives the Cane drive, another engine designed to generate propulsion from a resonant cavity without propellant, is another widely known implementation of this idea. Its cavity is also asymmetric, but is flatter than that of the M drive. It was designed by Fetter in 2006 and has been promoted within the US through his company, Cane LLC, since 2011. Shoya has said the Cane drive operates along similar lines to M drive, except that its thrust is derived from a reduced reflection coefficient at one end plate, which he says would reduce its thrust. Researchers working under Wan Yang at the Northwestern Polytechnical University in XIAN developed their own prototype M drive in 2008, publishing a report in their university's journal on the theory behind such devices. In 2012 to 2014 they reported measuring net thrust in a series of tests. They made it clear that their work was still preliminary. Replication efforts in 2014 and 2015, a NASA research group at Johnson Space Center tested models of both the M drive and Cane drive. They reported observing a small net thrust from both at low power levels. There were two controls. The first, referred to as the null test article, was designed without the internal slotting that the Cane drive's creative theorized was necessary to produce thrust. This null test article produced thrust contrary to theoretical predictions, leading researchers to conclude that thrust production was not dependent upon slotting. The second control device was built with the same RF load as all the previous devices but had no tapered cavity and did not produce any thrust, leading researchers to conclude that a tapered cavity is necessary for thrust production. A research group at the Dresden University of Technology also tested a small M drive in a hard vacuum and reported predicted as well as unexpected thrusts. Theory these drives use a magnetron to produce microwaves which are directed into a metallic, fully enclosed conically tapered high-Q resonant cavity. They have a greater area at one end of the device, and a dielectric resonator in front of the narrower end. They are designed to generate a directional thrust toward the narrow end of the cavity and require an electrical power source to run the magnetron, but no other propellant. Any apparently reactionless drive is treated with skepticism by the physics community, since a truly reactionless drive would violate the law of conservation of momentum. However, proponents claim these drives are not reactionless and do not violate conservation of momentum. Shoya has self-published theory papers about the M drive. These include the fundamental assertion underlying the theory. T. His force difference is supported by inspection of the classical Lorentz force equation F equals Q. If nu is replaced with the group velocity nu g of the electromagnetic wave, then equation 1 illustrates that if Vg1 is greater than Vg2, then Fg1 should be expected to be greater than Fg2. This statement makes two assumptions which Shoyu does not substantiate and which may explain the discrepancy between Shoyu's predictions and those of conventional physics. For example, he assumes that radiation pressure is the result of the Lorentz force acting on charged particles in the reflecting material. This is analyzed by Rothman and Born who point out that the standard theory of radiation pressure is more complicated than the simplified analysis suggests. Various hypotheses and theories have been proposed explaining the underlying physics for how these drives might be producing thrust. Shoryu claims that thrust is caused by a radiation pressure imbalance between the two faces of the cavity caused by the action of group velocity in different frames of reference within the framework of special relativity. Yang from NWPU calculated the net force thrust using classical electromagnetism. Harold G. Sunny White, who investigates field propulsion at Eagle Works, NASA's Advanced Propulsion Physics Laboratory, speculated that such resonant cavities may operate by creating a virtual plasma toroid that could realize net thrust using magnetohydrodynamic forces acting upon quantum vacuum fluctuations.
Likewise, the paper describing the Eagleworks tests refer to a possible interaction with a so-called quantum vacuum virtual plasma. This reference has been criticized by mathematical physicists John Byers and Sean M. Carroll because in the standard description of vacuum fluctuations, virtual particles do not behave as a plasma.